Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to balance this equation. This might be a tricky equation because you have to balance a lot of times on both reaction and product side. So let's start with uh, knowing the number of atoms on both the sides. So for calcium we have one atom on the reactant side and three on the product side. For oxygen we have two plus four that is six for reactant side and for product side we have um, eight plus one which is nine for hydrogen we have two plus three five and for reactant side we have um two for phosphorus we have one on reactant side and two on product side so uh, these are the number of atoms on both reactant and product side and once you know the number of atoms it becomes easier for you to start with balancing this equation now all these numbers are jumbled up and nothing uh, sort of matches on reactant and product side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with balancing this phosphorus atom over here and uh, as there are two atoms of phosphorus on the product side the reactant side should also have two so I'm going to place a coefficient two before this a molecule and in turn this will also change the number of atoms for oxygen and hydrogen as well. Now the number of oxygen and hydrogen num uh, atoms will keep on changing as in when you start adding coefficients. So here you also have to update the number of atoms of oxygen and hydrogen. Now we have a 10 oxygen atoms and for hydrogen it is 2 plus 6 which is 8 uh, hydrogen atoms and for phosphorus we have 2 which is similar to the product side. So now you might wonder that uh, what next what is what is the next step that should be done in such kind of situations so now we are going to try and balance the calcium atoms as you can see here there are three calcium atoms on the product side but only one on the reactant side so we have to balance that by adding a coefficient three so doing that will again change the number of atoms for hydrogen and oxygen so we have to update that as well so for calcium we have three on the reactant side for oxygen we have 6 plus 8 which is 14 and for hydrogen we have 2 into 1 and 2 into 3 which is 6 plus 6 that is 12 on reactant side. Now this is done and we have to balance this by putting coefficient before H2O to balance this equation. We have 14 oxygen atoms and 12 hydrogen atoms. Here we have uh, 2 hydrogen atoms and um, 9 oxygen atoms. 6 so to balance it off i'm going to put 6 over here 6 as the coefficient and in turn we will have uh, 12 hydrogen atoms which is 6 into 2 and for oxygen we'll have 6 plus 8 which is 14 which matches our reactant side so if you check there are same number of atoms on both reactant and product side and this equation is balanced so always start with the atom which is easier to balance here it was phosphorus and always keep hydrogen and oxygen atoms for the last so i hope this video helps you to understand the entire step-by-step -step process to balance any chemical equation and for more such videos on lewis structure molecular geometry polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching